my channel and if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Stephanie Lang and today I'm sharing with you my top 10 favourite summer hacks I have developed over my long life living here in hot summer Australia. So because we're coming into summer currently here in Australia, I thought now would be the perfect time to make this video. I've wanted to make this video for so long but never really got around to it. But I've worked on this video with Philips today and I thought it would be the perfect time to make it considering we're coming into summer now in Australia and I really wanted to share these tips with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into hack number one. One. So hack number one is to use fake tan to your advantage to give the illusion of being a little bit more toned than you might actually be in real life. To do this, I'm using the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Mousse in Dark. P.S. Check the description box down below because I have a special coupon code for you guys. So what I'm going to do is basically draw fake abs onto myself because clearly I have got no abs. So I'm drawing two lines carefully down either side of my stomach and then one straight down the middle. Try not to get any in your belly button, like obviously I did and that was not desirable. You can leave it like this if you want to make your tummy look longer and leaner or you can add on a few cheeky abs. So to do that, simply draw three lines across your belly until they look like abs. Now all you need to do is let the fake tan develop for at least two hours with this particular fake tan and then wash it off and voila, instant abs-ish. In summer, the last thing you want to be worried about when you're in your bikini is regrowth and hairy legs and hairy bikini line and hairy armpits. So hack number two is to start de-hairing yourself a few months before summer starts so that when summer hits and you want to go to the beach with silky hair-free skin, you'll be prepared. To do this, I use the Philips Lumia Prestige IPL Hair Removal Device. I used to shave with a conventional razor, but because my hair grows so fast and so thick, I used to really hate the regrowth and ingrown hairs. It's just, ugh, it's icky. The Philips Lumia IPL machine gets rid of the hair completely and leaves you with the smoothest skin possible. I got mine just over a month ago, and so I've already used it two or three, no, two times now, because I've used it every two weeks. And I've literally already started seeing results, which is crazy. So ideally, you would start using your IPL machine in, say, spring, for example, and then that way, by the time summer hits, you will be pretty much hairless. So all I do with my IPL machine is run it up my legs and stopping every few centimeters and pressing this little button here until it flashes. So hopefully you can see the flashing on screen. It doesn't hurt at all. In fact, it's the least painful hair removal I've ever tried in my entire life. I love the Philips Lumia Prestige IPL machine in particular because it is cordless. So you can use this anywhere that you want to, like you could use it on your lounge or your bed or wherever you find most comfortable. And to do your entire body, like if you were to do your legs and armpits and bikini line, well it takes me around 15-20 minutes and I do it very thoroughly. So it's really not a lot of time to get yourself hairless by summer. You can use the Philips Linear IPL machine on your body, bikini line and face so that when summer rolls around you'll be confident that your skin is as smooth and hair free as possible and you know when you look good, you feel good. Oh and by the way, this only costs, I think it works out at about $1.50 per session. So not only are you saving time with your hair removal routine, but you're actually saving money in the long run as well, which is win-win. Hack number three is to use the sand to your advantage at the beach. Go sit down by the water's edge where the sand is wet and grab a few handfuls of wet sand. Gently massage it into your skin. I know it feels weird and it's kind of like a bit weird to even say, but trust me guys, this works. The wet sand will act as a natural and free body exfoliator and gently slough away any dead skin cells to leave your skin beautiful and soft. In summer when it's really hot, I often find myself craving ice cream or ice blocks to cool me down. But instead of reaching for sugar laden processed ice blocks, why not make your own? All you need is a juicer and some tasty fruit. So make your own fruit juice full of vitamins and minerals and once you're done, pop it into some little ice molds to freeze and in a few hours you'll have lovely juicy sweet ice blocks to enjoy in the heat. This is one that I prepared earlier and honestly it didn't taste that great because I put loads of beetroot in it but whatever, it's very nutritious. <laughs> Everybody wants their skin to look glowing and hydrated on the beach but that's not always so easy so what I would suggest you do is invest in an oily looking sun cream. I love this one here from Sunbump and it's vegan. Once you've applied an oily looking sun cream all over your body, not only will your skin be protected from the sun, but the oily texture of the sun cream will help to keep your skin looking hydrated on the beach and give you a luminous glow. I don't know what it is about summer, but every time the weather starts getting warmer, I feel the urge to lighten my hair. A cheap and easy way to naturally lighten your hair is to make a lemon spritz. All you need to do is get one cup of lemon juice, which is the juice of about four lemons, and a quarter of a cup of warm water. Add the liquids into an empty spritz bottle, I've got one here from Lush, and then spritz the mixture wherever you want your hair to be lightened. Then, taking adequate sun protection, go and relax in the sunshine. If you repeat this routine a few times, gradually the sun and the lemon juice will give your locks a few sun-kissed highlights. 
Okay, this is probably my favorite hack and one that my fiance Darren showed me and this is him doing it by the way, he's so cute. If you wanna take your phone to the beach but you're scared of your phone getting sandy, all you need to do is wrap your phone in cling wrap. That way, when you're at the beach, you'll still be able to see the screen and you can use your phone, but it will make it so much harder for any sand to penetrate it. So you can see it here. That's not cracks on my screen, by the way. It's just cling wrap. But as you can see, I can still use my phone. Hopefully you can see that it was really bright on the beach, but you don't have to worry about the sand. And in fact, I'm so brave that I even threw my phone in the sand, picked it up, dust the sand off, and it's good as new. If you want to relax on the beach, instead of carrying a beach pillow with you, fashion yourself a pillow out of the sand. Just scoop up a few handfuls of sand and pat it down until it's nice and firm. When you're finished, pop your towel over your pillow and there you have it, a sand pillow. And it's actually pretty damn comfy. Okay, here's another weird sounding one. Get the sand up underneath your fingernails. I know it sounds kind of gross, but trust me, if you gently massage some sand up underneath your fingernails, the sand will help to gently remove any debris or dirt that you have stuck under your nails and leave them a beautiful pearly white. Now, I don't know about you, but I hate carrying a lot of things with me when I go to the beach, especially carrying a heavy towel and my clothes. A cool hack is to simply wear a sarong as your beach cover-up, as this will also double as a towel. It's also a thin enough material that it will dry really quickly and you won't be left trudging up the beach carrying your heavy, damp towel. There you go, guys. They were my top 10 favorite summer hacks that I really think you guys needed to know. What I want you to do is to let me know in the comment section down below which hack was your favorite, and which hack you're gonna use next time you're at the beach or next time your country's in summer. What is this hand movement, sir? If you have any summer hacks of your own that I have not mentioned, please let everybody know in the comments down below because you really never know who's stalking the comments trying to find extra hacks and of course, I don't know all of them. If you enjoyed this video, pretty please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out so much and it helps my channel out so much and myself and my channel will be so grateful to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much to Felix for working with me on this video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.